38 years ago, on Wednesday the 1st of November 1978, estate workers here in Bowhill were going about their normal daily business. Likewise, those working at RUF, Lossiemouth Military Base. I don't have the accurate times, however, it's believed to be around about the morning time on November the 1st. Two Jaguar GR1 military aircraft took off from the base. The first plane was piloted by an Ecuadorian OCU student carrying out a low-level navigation sortie, along with his instructor acting as chase pilot in the second GR1. Approximately 30 minutes into the flight, they encountered deteriorating weather conditions. At this time, the OCU student called his tutor, saying he was pulling up and subsequently gently climbed up into the clouds. The instructor, remaining at low level, saw the student disappear into the clouds. The chase pilot instructed his student to VMC on top. The student acknowledged the VMC instruction. About 20 seconds or thereabouts later, the chase pilot saw in his left-hand mirror the student's GR1 in a near vertical dive before it crashed into Parnassi Hill. That would be about some 300 metres from uh, the, the chase pilot's position. According to the chase pilot, the aircraft appeared intact, no signs of any fire prior to impact. Lieutenant Caesar Aguirre, aged 27 years old, did not eject and subsequently was killed when his aircraft hit the ground. Investigators were unable to de determine why the student had lost control of the plane. But they did speculate that it may have been subject to distraction or disorientation, perhaps, you know, a combination of both. The state workers was farmers, joiners, builders, foresters, keepers, anyone available, were called up to assist emergency services in a line out to search for any debris in the surrounding area where the plane came down. I was 11 years old when this plane crash occurred. I was living at Shields Hall, which is about one mile from the location of impact. I remember coming up to the crash site a few weeks after it was all cleared up. And I just remember seeing this crater in the ground. And there was still, still little bits of debris all around it, the crater. It was more, more or less wire, just little bits of wire. It was something else to see. The, uh, the estate staff, they made a, well they made it, but they certainly erected a concrete cross with a name plaque there on it, just at the, the impact area. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that just a few weeks after I went up. And bear in mind we're only 11 years old, as me and some of the other guys that stayed in the estate here. Uh, naturally, over the years, the, the concrete cross deteriorated. However, the staff from the forestry department, uh, they salvaged the plaque and created a new memorial, which is what you see today up there, which is still standing to this day. Thank you.